Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV and the Precious Metal Summit here in Zurich. And we have now the honor and pleasure to talk to Alex Rodriguez, the Vice President Corporate Development of O3 Mining. Alex, welcome. Thank you so much for coming here. Yeah, thanks for taking the time. O3 Mining, I think you are a spin-out of Cisco Mining and uh, you are yeah next door to the Canadian Malatic. So maybe you give a short overview on the company. For sure. So the company was founded in 2019 as a spin-out of Cisco Mining mm -hmm. with two main projects, Marvin Alliance and the Garrison Project. Mm -hmm. we, is, we, been, we span out the uh, the Garrison project in Ontario to Moneta Gold, mm -hmm. from which we are now owners of 20% of this company. Mm -hmm. And today we're having basically building our story around Marble Alliance. It's a project that started uh, in 2020 with a PEA, in 2022 with a PFS mm -hmm. that is giving us, uh, using 1700 gold price, a value of uh, an MPV post tax of $463 million. Nice. And we're a company trading at one, $120 million today. Mm -hmm. with uh, more or less $35 million in cash. Oh, that's beautiful. Because <laughs> yes. cash is cash, key Cash and investment. <laughs> cash and investment, doesn't matter, but cash is key these days. <laughs> yes. Okay, super. Um, the Marvin Alliance, to me, I was shortly confused in the presentation because I thought, yes. ah, that's maybe several companies, <laughs> but it's just the name of your future production project. You said it already, PFS uh, is uh, out now, so you are working on the uh, feasibility study, I guess. That's correct. What's the time frame there? What When do you think it's ready? Yes, so we did a, P a PFS last October uh, 2022, and the plan is for us to start the feasibility study next year, mm -hmm. Q1 2024, and we expect completion year late 2024 or oh. early the first quarter of 2025. That's yeah. the our, our target. But most important, we are doing that so we can convert a new satellite deposit that we found mm -hmm. in the Mar Marvin Alliance project mm -hmm. we found this year and we put a resource of uh, 342,000 ounces of gold that's new and in fair category so we need to drill this winter mm -hmm. so we can convert those ounces to indicate it mm -hmm. that way it can be used on our feasibility study it will be adding more years of life of mine to our current uh, mine plan of almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. Now we're expecting to be around the 11, 12 years wow, that's thanks so to this new deposit that we found. Uh -huh. And I could imagine that's also helpful for the economics. Exactly. <laughs> I think I saw also quite low AISC, right? In the pre-feasibility. That's I right. Think, what is it, 881 or something? 882. Right? And the reason of that is where we are operating. We're operating in Baldor. The mm -hmm. value of gold, if you translate that in, from French to English, this is a camp where you have uh, you have Western operating there with the Kinaman, you have El Dorado operating with the Lamag mine, and you have a Nico Eagle with two mines, Goldex and the Canadian Mol Arctic mine, which is the largest gold mine in Canada as mm -hmm. of today. Mm -hmm. So being in this camp allows you to have infrastructure, energy, manpower. Workforce, yeah, exactly. And all those things make your cash costs or your A's being in the lower side. That's why we have 882 as of 2022. Mm -hmm. If you want to put numbers of today, it's been like a 4% inflation since then. So mm -hmm. numbers, I will guess, towards the feasibility studies when I'm in that range, I guess below 1,000. Mm -hmm. It's still a big margin to today's gold price. Mm -hmm. Oh, super. Well, that's fantastic. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the resource by now? Um, how much uh, still or how many meters do you still have to drill or what do you have to drill to get to the re reserve level then for the feasibility study? What, what is the plan there? So right now we grew the ounces from 1.6 million ounces back in 2019 to 2.9 million ounces, more or less 3 million ounces. Mm -hmm. I will say 90% of these ounces are already in measure and indicated. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're doing with this campaign in winter is just to convert these 342,000 ounces from inferred to indicated, and that will keep us in that room of 2.9, but now most of them are going to be now indicated, mm -hmm. so those can be used in the feasibility study. Mm -hmm. So I would say we're expecting to drill next year in the winter uh, more or less 28,000 meters to 30,000 meters. Wow. Okay. It's just pure info drilling campaign. Mm -hmm. And with that, we will, go, we will complete. I believe uh, we will have a complete our, our campaign by March. Mm -hmm. We will have uh, their acid results coming back in a month from that. So we're talking about April. So you're talking about May, early May, we'll have a new resource estimate mm -hmm. and that resource is going to be the one used for the feasibility study. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. It will be much higher than, than the one before. We, <laughs> hope. We, 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 we are certain uh, confident that's going to yeah. be the case. Yeah. Okay, super. So $35 million in cash and cash equivalents, that sounds like a lot, but you want to drill a lot also. Um, 
is that, let's say, that amount sufficient to really do the whole definitive feasibility study? Yes, I will say yes in, a, in, in the sense that we do have the, these investments and, and our cash position to be spent for our campaign next year as well to complete our feasibility study. Mm -hmm. But given these, uh, as you were saying, this big campaign that we're trying to mm -hmm. do, we might need to go to the market at some mm. point late this year or early next year to raise uh, raise an amount that allow us to complete the whole campaign. Mm -hmm. But uh, it shouldn't be a big number. It's just literally just to get the numbers that we need to complete that program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. But uh, I would call it positive dilution. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because it's, 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 it's literally value creation. Yeah. We're just, yeah. just to give you an idea, every year we're adding... One more year of life of mine mm -hmm. in our project has an impact in our MPV of around 60 to $80 million wow. in our MPV. So we're talking That's about right. putting $10 million into the ground mm -hmm. to convert these ounces that will give us more or less two years of life of mine. Mm -hmm. okay. I will say that's the value creation here. Yeah, that's fantastic. What would be the average uh, in your production roughly in gold? Our production right now, based on the pre-feasibility study, mm -hmm. is 160,000 ounces mm -hmm. uh, per year of gold uh, over 9.5 years of production mm -hmm. and with these new answers that we're trying to convert the life of mine profile will move from 11 to 12 years more or less okay super who are your largest shareholders and what has management yes so cisco mining is our larger shareholder okay. and after that we have a uh, several institution investors franklin temple no? manek mm -hmm. merck and um, uh, Conway from mm -hmm. from oh, from this yeah. part of the world <laughs> and Rafa from UK yeah. and beside that management uh, Jose Vizquerra our mm -hmm. CEO of his family office mm -hmm. office owns six percent of the company. Okay, so, super. That sounds like a healthy thing, I would say. Well, Alex, thank you very much. I wish you well for the drilling and the upcoming stuff, and uh, I would say. Keep it uh, going because uh, you are in the perfect neighborhood, in the perfect setup there, and uh, make this gold mine happen. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Alex Rodriguez, the Vice President, Corporate Development of O3 Mining. And you heard it. This is, yeah, the next continuation of Canadian Malatic there in the fantastic uh, best neighborhood you can imagine in Valdor up there. And uh, this is a great additional production story out of the Osisco universe. And uh, I have a very good feeling they, they're going to make it. And they're working now from next year onwards on the definitive feasibility study and uh, already almost 3 million ounces is here in the resource reserve categories that is fantastic and it will be more and more and more and as Alex said every year added of production is 60 to 80 million to the NPB that's real value creation that's what we know from those Cisco guys so check out the company thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland thank you <laughs>